the soul to this love and the ministry went forward while everybody shouted I'm hurting inside can you see me at the last altar call everyone goes home late at night when I cry in silence Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Another Tuesday, Tuesday Talks with Tanika. Hey, I really appreciate you guys um, willing to being willing to share a small portion of your Tuesday morning with me today. Again, I say good morning to all of you and thank you so much for joining in, tuning in with me this morning go ahead real quick and hashtag tuesday talks with tanika hashtag tuesday talks with tanika go ahead and share this video share this video with your loved ones with your friends all of those that you encounter all of those that you love go ahead and sh share this video with them this morning again this is tuesday talks with tanika we are walking in unlimited possibilities we're going to go ahead real quick and get into our topic for today and today's topic is it's painful it's uncomfortable but it's still good it's still good um it's painful it's uncomfortable and but it's still good and so we want to talk about those things that that we don't like those processes that we don't like but in the end they all work together for our good just as it says in romans 8 28 it all works together for our good and so I wanted to use this morning as an analogy um, for us as we go through this topic today about um, a caterpillar and how the caterpillar goes through um, a cycle, you know, a metamorphosis a cycle, uh, which is required for it to change from one form to another. And a lot of us um, find ourselves, even now, present tense, we find ourselves in a stage of metamorphosis. We find ourselves in a stage of change. We find ourselves in a stage of a state of transition or stage. Yeah, we find ourselves in a stage of transition. And a lot of times um, during this stage of change and transformation and transition, uncertainty arises, fear arises, you know, um, anxiety arises because we don't know a lot of times what to expect on the other end. We get uncomfortable about the process in which we're going through, but um, we already know where we're going to end up. But sometimes um, the process can can take a toll on us. It can take a toll on our flesh. It can take a toll on um, sometimes our mind, you know. And um, and sometimes it can get rough when you're going through that metaphor for metaphor this process. And so I just want to. Um, to drop this with you all today, also encourage you, your friends, and along with myself, that although um, we're going through this stage of change, you know, the stage of fear, and sometimes a stage of letting go through this cycle, when you are um, in a caterpillar stage and, and you're on the ground and you're crawling and you're trying to find your way through life, and then suddenly you get this quickening and you know that there's something greater. You know that there's something else that you're supposed to be doing. You know that there's a transition that has to take place now. 
And so it's almost like it forces you to stand still. It forces you to give a, a attention to that thing that's pulling you, that's pulling you on the inside, you know, and sometimes it's um um it's unexplainable to the next person. And a lot of times other people won't understand your process. They won't understand the thing that is necessary for you to go through to get through that other side, that other part of you becoming greater. You know, and and, and sometimes because people don't understand that, they'll say, Well, you know, um, you're acting funny with me. You you change and you're acting different and, and you're not yourself. And a lot of times um they will, you know, cast judgment upon you because people don't expect you to change. Change. They don't expect you to, to become different, especially if you do it suddenly. They don't expect that change. And sometimes they don't know how to rationalize that and, and understand that and try to, to, to uh, encourage that change within you. But if you know that you're at a stage that's coming from your caterpillar being into that butterfly, and you know you have to be in this metaphor, metamorphosis process, and you have to go inside, um, you know, what they call a cocoon, um, and, and that stage where um, um, all of the organisms and the cells and the tissues of that once caterpillar, it becomes broken down. It becomes broken down. And, and, and science tells us that um, the caterpillar is then transforming into something different. It's almost like it takes on a new life, a new being, which the new life and the new being derived from the same cells and derived from the same DNA of the caterpillar. Uh, um, but the life and the results of the stage that it went through causes it to appear as if it's something else. And so only um, only we can get through that stage in that season of our life. And sometimes that takes us to be isolated, which can be painful. Sometimes that takes uh, for us to, to say no, which can be uh, uncomfortable for us. For us. Um, sometimes it takes for us to do some things, to challenge ourselves, to do some things that we normally wouldn't do, you know, and, um, that's the, the part that we want to talk about today that, that, that may not be so good in a sense. It may not be so good in a sense, but it's all working together for our good. It's all working together for us to become that butterfly, for us to become that greater, uh, being, for us to become that greater person, for us to become that greater example, you know, in order for us to be able to do that, we have to transition from one stage to another. We cannot remain the same. We cannot remain the same because, uh, if we were to remain the same and try to become something else, then, then, then we're confused. And, and then we're going back and forth and then we're not we're not able to process you know we have little glimpses little glimpses of what it is like or what it can be like in the future but we'll never never be able to hold on to that you know and and through this process um we want to make sure that we maintain our faith make sure, maintain our faith because a lot of times when we're going from the caterpillar to the butterfly in the middle is where your faith really needs to work. In the middle is where your faith really needs to work because a lot of times you don't see how long, you don't know how long you're going to have to stay in that cocoon. You don't know how long you're going to have to stay um, in that transitioning stage. You know, there's a, a scripture that talks about the, the potter and the clay, you know, and, and we don't know how long we're going to have to be molded, how long we're going to have to be, uh, um, um, redesigned and 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 and, and cultivated and, and and moved a little bit over to the left right or however to be molded in order to get to the place um where we need to be and so your faith is going to be very very important holding on and having faith and believing and knowing that i will be what i was purposed to be i just have to maintain my faith throughout this process throughout this process in this stage and this transformation you know and Although um, during that process, sometimes we become unrecognizable to others that others aren't, can't identify with us anymore. You know, we just have to um, to understand that that's a breakdown process that we have to go through. That's a breakdown process that we have to go through and to not expect others to always understand our process. They're not going to understand it all the time. They're not going to agree with it all the time. But you have to know um, the stage that you're going through. You have to know the end state and know where you need to get to and push through regardless of what people say, regardless of how they feel, regardless of the influences that they try to, to add on to you. You have to know where you want to be and understand that it's all all working together for your good. You are being um, preserved. You are being preserved in that stage of metamorphosis. You are being preserved in that cocoon stage. You are being preserved with strength. You are being 
preserved with with the, with the the know-how you are being preserved with the uh, perseverance you are being preserved with the character you are being preserved um with the push the extra push to go to be able to go that once you come out of this stage of metamorphosis once you come out of the cocoon once you are unraveled once you are un once you are unwrapped you'll be able to fly and you'll be able to to go to places that you've never been able to go before because you were on the ground stuck on the ground you know and all Although that process was painful and that process was uncomfortable and that process was um, caused you to be unrecognizable to those whom you love and even sometimes to yourself, that process was a requirement in order for you to be able to reach other places that you would not have been able to go had you stayed in the pre-stage of your metamorphosis process. So I just wanted to encourage you today to go ahead and, and endure the process, uh, endure the due process. Yes, it may be painful, it may be uncomfortable, but hey guys, it's working for your good. It's working for your good and it shall be good. I just want to encourage you all today, go ahead and share this video to your friends, your family, your loved ones. This is Tuesday Talks with Tanika. Thank you guys so much for sharing today. Thank you so much for sharing a, a small portion of your Tuesday mornings with me. And I will see you next Tuesday at 8 o'clock. Love you guys. Have a great day.